Hi, I'm Julia Griffith in association with Gen A. In this video, we will discuss the use of the London Dichroscope. The Dichroscope is a simple tool that helps us view the pleochroic colours of doubly refractive gemstones. Doubly refractive gemstones split transmitted light into two separate rays which vibrate in two different vibration directions. And these rays may absorb light differently from one another and as a result such gemstones appear different colours from different directions. This is known as pleochroism, pleo meaning many and cro from chroma meaning colours. Pleochroism indicates the gemstone is doubly refractive. The pleochroic colours of a gemstone and the strength of this pleochroism can help identification. The London Dichroscope is made up of two polarising filters set at 90 degrees to one another. When viewing a gemstone through these filters, it will allow us to see the pleochroic colours side by side. The Dichroscope is one of the gemologist's go-to pieces of kit. It is portable, easy to use and the results are easy to decipher. On occasion it allows us to fully identify gemstones with no other tools, but at the very least it will narrow down our possible options. This tool can be used on rough, cut, loose and set gemstones. The only requirement is that the gem must have some transparency and colour. We recommend doing this test secondary to other tests such as the polariscope so that you're not wasting time testing singly refractive gems as these will not show pleochroism. To use, turn your light source on and place the gem on top. Hover the dichroscope over the gem to see the pleochroism and take note of the colours and strength of the pleochroism seen. You will have to turn or rotate the gemstone to see the most dramatic difference and these are the colours that you note down. In most gemstones two colours can be seen. This is known as dichroism and these gems are said to be dichroic. Dichroic gems can be either uniaxial or biaxial and can be from any of the six doubly refractive crystal systems. If three colours are seen through the dichroscope, the gemstone is trichroic. This indicates that the gemstone is biaxial and is from the most three asymmetrical crystal systems, orthorhombic, monoclinic and triclinic. This third colour is always seen through a different axis than the first two, and so the gem must be rotated to view it. Please note that if a gemstone is bicoloured or has uneven coloration, this is not counted as pleochroism. To avoid confusion when testing these stones, focus on one area of colour at a time. The pleochroism seen in gems can be unique to a particular stone. For example, a strongly trichroic blue gemstone that shows blue, violet and yellow is a tanzanite. And a dichroic blue gemstone with blue and greenish blue pleochroism is a sapphire. Often the pleochroism of gems is not unique, however the strength and pleochroic colours seen will be characteristic. For example, the dichroism of aquamarine, blue zircon and blue topaz are all the same, showing blue to light blue to a moderate degree. So although a positive identification cannot be made, it still gives us evidence to back up an identity alongside other diagnostic tests. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Julia Griffith, thank you for watching.